well, it's happening. Chloe Cole, a detransitioned 18-year-old woman, announced the first official lawsuit in the United States against the hospital and affiliated medical group that facilitated her medical transition as a minor. We knew only time would tell what effect the societal push for transgenderism would have on the children involved in this this egregious experiment. There is now a rise in detransitioners, former transgender people who now identify with their biology. It's reported that Chloe's family sought after the medical treatment from those institutions. She then received irreversible chemical and surgical sex change interventions between ages 13 and 16. The current lawsuit alleges that the defendants coerced Chloe by concealing less invasive treatments and by lying to her about her condition. Chloe said, once I announced my intention to seek justice, I have not stopped receiving call after call, email after email of parents and patients who have been harmed by these same practices. Some of them even were butchered in the same building I was. To me, this is the case of the biblical proverb, when I was a child, I thought as a child, but when I became an adult, I put away childish things. Charles Lemandry believes that Chloe was a victim of ideological and profit-driven medical abuse that included indoctrination into transgender ideology, the off-label use of puberty-blocking drugs and cross-sex hormones, and a double mastectomy surgery that resulted in excruciating pain and suffering, permanent disfigurement, loss of enjoyment of life, and extreme emotional distress. This is a very sad situation. And in an effort to protect our children, God says in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13, all your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. So do you think Chloe has a case? On the one hand, it can be argued that Chloe isn't denying that she had gender confusion as a child. Actually, she's the one who asked for this treatment. And technically, the law restricts therapists from advising against one's perceived reality when it comes to their sexuality. On the other hand, parents and, and medical institutions should treat children as children and not inflict irreversible and self-destructive procedures based on a child's feeling that will most likely change in the near future. Well, what do you think? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Making this kind of content is only possible because of our patrons who donate through Patreon or through our website. So if you enjoy Little Life Studios content, please consider making a monetary contribution today.